Hi, welcome to the Daddy Cribs Farm and welcome to a very special episode of Monday Meetups. In previous episodes of Monday Meetups, you got to see where I invited someone else in video to share their gifts and passions to show something in their garden or on their homestead. This time, I'm going to share with you the story of a young lady from France who stayed with us for three weeks. There she is. We were very blessed to take part in a cultural exchange this summer where a student from France got to come here and spend three weeks on the farm. Are you hungry and tired? Not so really. No, just hungry? Yeah. Just the plane ride in left Tatiana not so much tired, but very hungry. So our first stop on the way home was at the local grocery store. Grocery was not a familiar word for her, but once we explained what it was and she got to see it, she told us that they called it a supermarket. Or, I'm gonna say this horribly wrong, supermarché, I said it wrong. The point of this cultural exchange was to come over to America and see what it was like to live in an American family for three weeks. So we didn't take it easy on her. Well, we did. We did invite her to take part in doing some of the light chores like feeding the animals. How do you say let's go in French? Let's go. Uh, Vamos. On y va. On y va. On y va. Just keep going. Do you help or can you get it? Here? No, over here. <laughs> there, you there you go. Now, Tatiana admitted that she's a city girl. She loves her Paris lifestyle. And one of her favorite pastimes is shopping. But she also found that she enjoyed hanging out on the farm to interact with the animals, such as Maggie the horse, Coco and Jack-Jack the big tortoises, and all the cats and the chickens and the ducks. But I think what she loved the most, well, I don't have to think, she told us that she loved the dogs. Unfortunately, because of the heat and all the activities that were planned and unplanned, she didn't get a chance to ride Maggie. Perhaps next time on her next trip to Texas. There were lots of activities that she got to enjoy while hanging out here in Texas that didn't include the farm life. For example, she got to hang out at a local pool. She loves swimming and she loved the fact that she had access to a pool where my son is a lifeguard. There was also a time that the whole family got to go to a local swimming hole in the river and just enjoy a little bit more of being out in nature. Another place to enjoy the water, even though we couldn't get in, was at the San Antonio downtown Japanese tea gardens. The landscape and the pools and ponds were gorgeous and it's really fun to hang out and just look at those big goldfish, the koi that they have swimming around there. The kids also got to hang out at the river walk at nighttime to enjoy a dancing and singing show. After the show, they got to get up on stage and cut a rug, even though they probably have no idea what cut a rug means. Several days in a row, Tatiana and other students got to enjoy hanging out at an art camp where they just got to be in the air conditioning because it's very hot and experiment with just painting and drawing and doing all sorts of crafts and art projects. I know it doesn't compare to the Louvre Museum in Paris, but the kids did get to hang out at one of the local museums just to check out some of the exhibits and walk around and have a good time hanging out together. For the most part, while Tatiana was with us, we tried to keep a fairly healthy diet, a normal diet that we keep with our own family, but she was very excited to find that certain candy snacks were readily and abundantly available, unlike in France. She did take a small stash home in her suitcase to share with her mom. There was one event that provided a unique experience for Tatiana to hold and observe some of the local wildlife. He's got brown pupils, which is an indicator of non-venomous non snakes. After my daughter had caught a Texas rat snake in the chicken coop that was trying to eat the eggs that was up under a hen. She likes snakes. She doesn't like spiders. I was very proud of my daughter for catching the snake and being very brave to share that experience and also proud of Tatiana for being brave enough to hold and touch and observe that snake. He wrapped his tail around my wrist and pooped on it. 
What's Maggie think, Evie? She, I think she's on edge. Maggie, what do you think? Are horses scared of snakes? Yeah. Over the course of three weeks, it became very clear that our cultural backgrounds were different. We had a lot to laugh about, a lot to giggle. Every time, we tried to encourage her to say American words like Americans, and we tried to say French words like the French. How do y'all? <laughs> the French students were probably better at mimicking an American accent than we were trying to mimic a French accent. Tatiana and my daughter love sharing time in the kitchen where they could practice making desserts like cakes and cookies. It was a real pleasure having Tatiana in our home to share her personality and her culture with us. Hopefully she enjoyed our personalities and culture as well. At the end of the day, I think it became very clear that we're all just human and we have the same basic needs. And among those basic needs is community and love for each other. Thank you, Tatiana, for sharing this time with us here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. Thank you so much for sharing your smile with us. I hope that someday you get to come back to Texas where we can see that smile once again. Perhaps even someone from the Daddy Curbs Farm might even go and hang out in France for a little while. No promises. We do thank you, Tatiana, for becoming a part of the story, a part of our story here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. We love the fact that you joined our journey and that we got to be a part of your story and your journey as well. If you're not subscribed to the Daddy Curbs Farm YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that button, subscribe, and also the little bell next to that. That helps YouTube know to push notifications to you when I have something new to share. Also, if you can give me a thumbs up, that lets YouTube know that you appreciate what's going on here on the Daddy Curbs Farm. It was a lot of fun sharing this experience with you in this episode. Until next time, au revoir. I told you I didn't say the words right. <laughs>